How you doing? Welcome back to another Mental Health Monday. Today with Dr. Ulysses Jackson. Today we're going to discuss men's sexual performance. What we talking about? We talking about when he ain't showing up no more. When he ain't hitting it out the park like Reggie Jackson. Where in that area, it becomes gray now. Now you women, y'all doing all y'all could do. From the BBL to the breast enhancements. To, to the glass of wine, to lighting the incense, but he just ain't performing the way he should. What are y'all gonna do when erectile dysfunction shows up or ED? Nine out of 10 of the men that I talk to on a regular basis, when this topic come up, they first thing they say, yo doc, not me. But the statistic says that 52% of all men have erectile dysfunction or will experience it soon. And it gets crazier or it gets greater by 15% more as a man reaches age 50, or 40 rather. So you're talking about 50% of the population has erectile dysfunction or an issue with keeping an erection. Once they hit their late 30s, early 40s, it goes up another 15%. So you're talking about almost 70% of all men ain't doing what they're supposed to be doing. So with this being said, who's experiencing this? Every man I'm going to talk to, I have, I talk, not me, nigga, I'm doing, but <laughs> I beg to differ right now because a lot of my clients, men and women, they have been talking to me about this. And then even outside of therapy, people have been saying to me, you know, doc, I experienced this or it ain't the way it was. You on that nice vacation, you on that honeymoon, you know, y'all got 20 years in, y'all got 25 years in, you know, and all you wanted was that night to be special. And she got on the lingerie. Y'all got the candle. Y'all got the Barry White playing. And he's not doing nothing. It almost turns into an argument. Where y'all going with this? So this is more of a part of our life than we would like to discuss, you know, depending on the individual. Like, can I perform? And if I can't perform, what's my partner going to say? And is she okay with the situation? Or do you and your partner agree to say, you know what, because you got that issue, we're going to turn into a swinging couple. Or if she's not truthful with you, will she just go out and be with someone else? You know? Because, like I said, we know you ain't the same person at 20, at 40, and 50 years old in climate. You know what I'm saying? So things going to change. You know what I'm saying? And um, how are we dealing with this? Are we sitting down having honest conversation with each other? Are we sitting there saying, yo, baby, listen, um, yeah, when I'm with you, I, I'm not sure sometimes. Sometimes I'm a little soft-footed, and I know you riled up and ready to go, and all of a sudden, I'm not performing. So what we're going to do here, most of the time, the partner will, say, will agree and say, we could try all natural remedies, baby. Let's try some Medina. Let's try some, you know, sea moss mixed with some horny goat weed. You know, let's try the, all these other remedies. And sometimes those other remedies don't work. So... How that hard conversation, I'm talking about Christmas. I'm talking about birthdays. I'm talking about anniversary. I'm talking about vacation. I'm talking about real serious moments when you intimate and you as the man, you ain't sure. Or she done told you, talk to the hand. Or it got so bad, y'all sleeping in different rooms. And sometimes it gets to a point where y'all come to therapy to see me. Which it really, you know what I'm saying, just boils down to you and her communicate. Or you and your partner communicate. And I got to add in this disclaimer. Anything you hear me say on this platform, it's an open forum. It's not clinical in nature. So please do not mix this up with therapy and take what I say as a therapeutic session. Therapy is therapy. You know what I'm saying? I advise you to get a counselor, get a friend. You know what I'm saying? Get somebody close to you that you could really, you know what I'm saying, confide in about real personal situations. But don't take what I'm saying as all in all the gospel to research or to your problem. Go explore that. Use that insurance card you have to go talk to someone. But yes, more than 50% of all men are experiencing some type of ED, erectile dysfunction. And they're having a problem with having these discussions with their wives or at home. And then they might think, well, I need her to do this. Or I need her to blow fire. I need, I need some tricks. Maybe a medical issue. Maybe a psychological issue. Maybe because you're Asian. But explore that and get comfortable with them conversations. Come on, man. You you don't spend your life with somebody or you plan on spending your life with someone and then have these conversations. 
How important is sex to you on a scale of one to 10? If my partner can't live without it and I got that issue, I got it. We got to figure it out. And some of us are real comfortable with, well, uh, my wife can swing and she could do whatever, or my husband can go and do whatever. I just saw a story where a woman had got breast cancer and um, she thought that her husband was gonna leave her. And um, she went through the chemo and all that stuff and he told her in the end, I'm not with you for that. I'm with you because the way you treat me in the year that we spent together. See, nowadays, everybody's moral fabric and their beliefs could change. This goes back into what's your worldview? Because your worldview is going to affect your relationship. The old Dr. Jackson, the old Ulysses Jackson, would be doing some stuff that I normally wouldn't do. I'd be doing some shit that usually get me in trouble. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I never thought that I'd get gray hair. I never thought that, you know what I'm saying, I would have to make sure I don't have high blood pressure. I did not have to be grateful that I don't have diabetes. I never knew that. No, even now, when I talk about it, I'm free with it. My natural weight all my life has been about 170, 175. I shot up to 195, 200 pounds because of COVID and telehealth and not moving. So I got issues that I got to get ready to address. You know what I'm saying? And you know when you look in the mirror, if you're getting a little overweight, you know if you're eating too many steaks and lobsters. And you know how that's affecting you, man. For me, I'm, I'm conscious of it because I'm not going to be selfish and say it's about me and just the things that I want to do. No, it's about my family. It's about me living that next day. One of the hardest things for me to kick was Newports. And I went through a long time with that. This is my second year right now that I haven't smoked Newports. Now I've been smoking Newports since I was about 15 years old. You know what I'm saying? And um, that was one of the hardest health decisions that I had to make. Because I said, you know me, we're going to die anyway. Why stop smoking? But back to this men's sexual performance. Women, this question is for you. How satisfied are you with your man and his sexual performance? Is it a one to three? Or is it a 10? Or is he scoring and hitting that jump shot every time, every night, every time the wind blows? Because some of the men I talk to, that's what they would like me to believe. Me, I would tell you, and I'm not gonna go into my personal life, I have a healthy sexual relationship with my partner. And I'm aware of what's going on with me, my body, and with her. Because we're old enough and mature enough to have these conversations, you know? That's why today's topic, I, I was kind of like on the fence without going to discuss it. But off the camera, I discuss it all day. So I said, let me touch that and get the people this. So having that conversation is more common. And because I'm a doctor, I don't have a problem with just coming out with the discussion, you know, and being a little more transparent with it. And we have to also look at this. I didn't even do the statistics on how many people have di diabetes. Because when you're taking diabetes and you're taking a lot of diabetes medication and then it starts to mess with your kidney, that's going to mess with your with, with an erection. You know what I'm saying? And maintaining an erection. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, the younger me, the, not the PhD doctor, I wouldn't have had this conversation because I'm going to fish pump and say, yeah, I'm killing it, man. Every day, out the park. But now as you get older, you want that exotic vacation, you in Greece, you in Bali, you in Hawaii, you in Rome, you in Paris, and you can't show up and show out and act a fool. <laughs> and she wants you to show up. Like, I'm a rolling dice, don't fail me now. And it's an issue. Now y'all over by the Eiffel Tower and everybody's mad. And you thinking, I'm gonna go to a strip club. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk through Pat. No, check yourself out. And then your partner, female, lady, y'all have to, y'all have to, you know, give us some leeway. You know what I'm saying? If that issue comes up, don't, don't discredit him for that issue. If he doesn't, he doesn't score in every other way. He doesn't help you with your lifestyle. Y'all done raised the kids. He's paying the bills. He's doing all of that. Don't condemn him to that, because some of y'all is just cruel. And but oh what? You, that's my out. Talk to the hand. That's so important to me. You know, women might say that's so important to me on a scale of one to ten. That's that's like <laughs> that's like food. If I can't get that, I'm good. Or, or what you here for? So understanding this balance, man, and this conversation, man, because it's really about. I titled it men's sexual performance, but the real issue is erectile dysfunction how y'all gonna deal with it? You know, and how we, how we as a people 
are going to come together and have real hard conversation. Like I got some things coming up about parenting. I got some things coming up about finances and wills. You know, I got some conversation that we're going to have to have sooner or later. Or you say, babe, you drink too much. Or every night I come home from work, you in a jacuzzi with a glass of wine with your candles going. And I see alcoholism setting in. But we don't want to say nothing because you say at least she come home from work. Which is which is which is valid. You know what I'm saying? But um when you take on that same behavior and you can't make it home at night, that becomes an issue. So again, some men suffer this, it could be psychological, it could be physical, it could be colon cancer, it could be skin cancer, it could be it could be anything, you know, it could be kidney failure, it could be real bad um, dialysis. You know what I'm saying? But when, that, when when we reach that part, men, how open the conversation are you with your loved ones? Or is this really the end? So again, if you're experiencing this, you know, you're talking to your friends, you're talking to a counselor about that, and your relationship is on the verge of ruins because y'all can't really communicate and get it going. If y'all discuss um, alternative ways, such as medication, doctor's appointment, natural herbs, these are the conversations we have to have. So, Dr. Jackson, how satisfied are you with your part in sexual performance? Thanks for tuning in for, again for another Mental Health Monday. Keep following me on this channel. I got some big things coming up, man. I got some real important people that have been getting at me. We've been working on some things. And, you know what I'm saying, it's not going to be just me talking no more. I got some people coming with me. I got some friends. Dr. Ulysses Jackson.